Hello, hi, I'm GB Salem and welcome to my channel. This is Roast on GB Interactive. If you're new to the channel, I want you to give it a just to please subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and leave me comments as well. For those of you who are new on the channel, Roast is a time that I review and react to your favorite gospel music here on GB Interactive. Today, I am reviewing Tim Eternity's Osa Berima, which was released just a few hours ago and this is their last single before they release their entire sounds of eternity album on 7th march i'm recording this video on the 7th of march and yeah i haven't watched it yet uh but i've read a few comments and so far i think people are really 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 enjoying it but um i don't know much about kevin i've heard him do a few solos here and there but i've not really heard him sing a full song i i guess um, so this will be my time to uh also appreciate his craft and all that but Timmy Tennis is already known as one of my favorite choirs if not my most favorite choir and yeah let's enjoy this song I'll try as much as possible to be as objective as much as possible let's just get right into the video every battle is the Lord's I think it's worth mentioning that the stage set and the entire stage design and the video, the outcome of the entire production, when you look at it visually, is so appealing to the eye. Um, I think they really, really, really wanted perfection and they are serving as something perfect. I like their color code, like everything is just on point from their costume to how the light is. I don't know much about it, but good art is is something that everyone can see and appreciate so yeah kudos to Tim Eternity for such a marvelous production i've been enjoying it ever since they've been releasing videos from this album and i just felt like i should mention it so now let's enjoy the music <laughs> Before the choir comes in, wow, wow, have I been living under a rock? Because um, Kevin has such, such sweet vocals. I think he has much control. Like, it's too early to actually determine, but so far, um, I think he's carrying and holding the song uh, very mature. Obviously, they are, they, are, they are gist, so I get it. But I appreciate what he's doing. I find that he's singing the song with so much um, attention and dedication. You can see he's enjoying what he's doing. He's, he understands what he's doing. And I can't help but also, you know, just be infected. Oh, yeah, what he's doing. I know the harmonies is not so giddy giddy beer, but I like how they've started. It's appropriate for the progression. authority with which he's, he's singing the song um he's talking about victory belonging to god or jesus and uh, he sounds like he believes what he's saying 
so he's the way he's even you know saying it like yeah i know what i'm talking about that's the kind of vibe i'm getting I did not see that coming. Let me tell you. So, like I said, when it began, after he sang the first verse, I think, and it came in, they sounded like a bit. You know, the voicing was kind of the choice of notes were down there on the scale. Then, after his hype, if you listen carefully, you realize that they've also brought it up a top, like a notch further. Um, I really love it. They understand it and they are applying their dynamics. So it's dynamics actually. They are playing their dynamics so well to you know fit whatever section of the song that they've gotten to. So I love it that when the lead singer, you know, went all belting out there, um, they tried to match up the energy. But let's see how, how it unfolds. understands what he's saying it's not just here's our lyrics come and sing it i have a voice or say they're all so nasty so if you listen to his ad lips like he's ad libbing with understanding he's ad libbing with you know a message i love that but i think that um the way he sounds to it's a song like that the way he sounds to is like uh i'm expecting to be turning to even at this point still keep rising but I think maybe Kevin is really, really into it more than they are. Or, pay hey, the arrangement, that's how they're supposed to sound. Anyways, maybe it's a little too early to judge, but let's just enjoy it. You died in the road, and don't turn me. You rose, Lord, and gave me beats to me. And say, oh, be my boa. Oh, come on, honey, oh. Honey, boo, yeah. Honey, boo, Jesus Christ. Then I'm a coach, she never yet. But if you listen to how Kevin keeps pushing and belting and pushing and belting, it sounds as if the BBs are not matching his energy. He's talking about in Kunim, a victory that he himself has tasted of, and he is so, so, so hyper about talking about it to the world. And the BBs are. Yeah, true. 
apologize. I apologize. I think it makes sense. It makes sense. It, was, it would have been too too early. I think it's just that, like I keep mentioning his name, because I think I'm, I really enjoy what he's doing with the song. Um, he's so charged up that um, it seems he takes it a, a top further earlier than the BVs can. But the BVs are also doing what they are doing. But I think that as much as it is rehearsed, oh, some people are saying I might cause um, blunder. But let me say, as much as things are rehearsed, sometimes. How does it work? If the mood directs us to an angle, the spirit should lead us there. But I think it's not spontaneous. It was arranged, it was programmed. Um, so, uh, they can't help the babies have to stick to the arrangement. Kevin should have tamed, tamed his, you know, excitement or his, you know, a little bit. But, and say it's actually doing the work. But finally, I feel it. They can't even stand on their feet. They are jumping. They are... People in the crowd are standing up and lifting their hands. That's how powerful this point of the song has been. That's how powerful the growth has been. check simple lyrics um, well composed makes so much sense the message is not ambiguous it's so straightforward and so understandable different section of the songs link to each other so and makes so much sense the lyrics are so so much profound in terms of the lead, like I've already spoken about several times, 
I love his approach to you know leading songs. I love his. I love that he understands what he's doing and you can actually feel it from how he sang. Though the BBs were not so much hyper for him, but I think he did what he can do. The BBs also sounded obviously always soft, sweet. They give us what they were supposed to give. Um, just that I felt like they were. I'm sticking to arrangement so much because when Kevin was up there, they were still following it, which is which isn't bad. But sometimes I feel like um, maybe Naya could have listened to what's going on and asked them to swap already. Don't forget, forget about arrangement, swap already. But I get it. It is about you know perfection. It's about what we've we've planned to do. It's about um, how musically it's supposed to be done and all that and all that. So all that mix can sometimes you know. So I get it. Um, the instrumentation always they always um, complement you know the singers so much so well they always act like a band so you don't see one party overshadowing the other the keys were very very sensitive the drama um, was also very 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 sensitive with his play I think generally uh, the entire production was was very 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 well done um, and if I should give it a rating, I'll give it a good 7, 7.3. Um, I still have favorite, but this will be my, one of my my favorites. But it's a good song, and I appreciate what Timmy Tennis is doing for gospel. And yeah, so what do you think about the video? Um, do you agree with my ratings? Uh, I'm, excited, I'm excited for the album that is coming tomorrow. I hope you are too. I'll come back to give an entire review, proper review of the album. And yeah, we'll have that discussion as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to keep coming back to the channel for more content that I dish out. And yeah, have a wonderful time and bye bye.